Right, we're here in Connecticut, the Foxwoods Resort, with the guys from TaylorMade. Um, we're here to try out the new M1 driver, M1 Freewood and the M1 Hybrid and the new PSI irons. So I'm going that way and I'll see you in a bit. There you go. Which way is, which way is your miss usually, left or right? It sounds stupid, but I'm pretty straight, so one day I'll turn up, it'll be a slight draw, one day it'll be a slight fade. Okay. I'd say more recently, probably to the left, but... Okay. It's maybe five on the carry, but the giddy up is pretty good, right? Yeah, I hear you. What do you think about the ball flight? For uh, 30. Not too bad. What would you? What's it looking like to you? It's it pretty good. I mean, your spin, your spin's under 2,500. Uh, that's what I normally suffer with. I it too much. Yeah. So your spin numbers have been <laughs> below 2,500 in all your hits. Yeah. No, we don't have. They, they just cut the ball back. Okay. So the big technology with this driver is the uh, the multi material that we use yep. now in the, in the crown. That allowed us to free up free up a ton of weight so we could put it back down here um, and allow us to do the the T track system. Yeah. So this is 15 grams and this is 10 grams, 25 gram total. Um, this is the lowest spinning combination here, having the, the weight most low and forward. Kind of like what we do with SLDR, with the weight being directly behind the sweet spot. Where this does it, it creates the lowest spinning golf ball. Okay. Um, same loft sleeve as uh, the R15, two degrees up or down. Um, it's the most personalized driver we've ever created. And I mean, I'm sure you can feel the golf ball just explode off the face with it being a... Well, a it, fe it feels better on the miss hits. Yes. So R15 felt good on the on the middle, but you could performance wasn't necessarily so bad, but you could feel when you really miss hit one. Yeah, yeah. And also too, I think the other the other part of it is with it being a multi-material driver, the sound is fantastic. Yeah. All right. I mean, obviously, with the 460, your miss hits are a little better. Yeah. You know, you get more more uh, face. Um, you're hitting the ball a little farther too with the 460, uh, just because you know when you're when you're hitting the ball on a little bit of a bigger club face, you know, you're, like I said, your miss hits aren't as bad. Um, but, yeah. Uh, you know, the big difference is that the spin is way lower with that one. So I would recommend the 460. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um, yeah. So. Um, I don't think the other shafts would be in. I don't think. Let's, um, so we have a surprise for you guys today. We're actually going to build this driver for you and let you take it. Oh, awesome. Okay, so we have the uh, 60 gram uh, Adela Row shaft, stiff flex, nine and a half degree. Thank you very much. It's all set up. So we've just been fitted for the new TaylorMade M1 driver. There's three things for me this year with this driver. It feels a lot more forgiving than R15. I was hitting shots out the toe in the hill. They felt good and they were going well. R15 and SLDR before that, if you missed the middle, it was really punishing. Second thing, the composite crown has made a totally different sound to the driver. It's a much softer. You can still feel the ball explode off the face, but it's a quieter, softer sound. Something I'm a fan of. I have been with other manufacturers when they've used composite crowns. And then the third thing is the shape of the club. So although it's very modern looking with the black and white finish, at dress, it looks perfect. It actually, although this is probably sacrilege to say this, looks more like the shape of a Titus driver maybe than a traditional tailor-made shape. At least in the 460, the 430 is a little more round, a little bit deeper. Um, and then finally the spin. The 430 
was by far the lowest spinning driver I've hit. So I couldn't even get the 9.5 over 2,000 RPMs of spin. It was actually falling out of the sky too quickly. This 460 head got me uh, spinning around 2,500 RPM just under, which is just about perfect for my uh, ball speed and club head speed. Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying this out on the course tomorrow. By the looks of it from the range just then, this will definitely be going further than my current driver.